Hi, my name is Mustafa Eid. I want to talk about enterprise resource planning and give a brief introduction about what is ERP and how it can improve business performance. If we take a look at Wikipedia page, we'll find a pretty long definition. Going through the definition, you will notice that Wikis editors phrase definition like riddles. That means you've solved it to get it. Most probably you still mixed up. Never mind, let's get it by another way. Fortunately, enterprise resource planning doesn't live up with its acronym. Forget about planning, it doesn't do much for that. And forget about resource, it's a throwaway term. But remember the enterprise part. That's ERP's true gist. Enterprise has departments like finance, logistic, production, sales, human resources, and others. Enterprise does business with clients and suppliers. To do business, surely we need tools. Long ago, we were using this, 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 and this for storage. Accordingly, this was the workflow was looking like. Wonderful. Later on, we used the computers to do it in place of us. Now with a computer loaded with a software system connected to database for storage. Applying this progressive approach to the enterprise, standalone computer system is assigned to each department. Finance department get a financial system, human resources get a payroll system and so forth. So far that seems a pretty brilliant solution. But taking a customer order or known as order fulfillment process for example and applying the standalone computer system solution. As we see in this figure the order begins a mostly paper based journey from in basket to in basket around the company. Often carried and recaded many times into different departments, computer 